a personal question. Anybody give birth today? <laughs> no? No? Okay. If you didn't, you're not alone, because apparently the U.S. birth rate has plummeted to its lowest point in 30 years, to a record low of 60.2 births per 1,000 women. Meanwhile, the birth rate for men is still at rock bottom. <laughs> Come on, science. I need an excuse for my stretch marks. <laughs> Plus, as birth rates drop, the current generation is getting further away from having enough children to replace itself, which actually could be nice. Less traffic, shorter lines at Disney World, fewer kids named Declan. <laughs> but our economy needs people to function. If only there was some non-birth way to grow the U.S. population. If we could just get people to migrate in, uh -huh. they could be yeah. in migrate yeah. somehow. Yeah. In, in, yeah. in, yeah. in I, migrate. I get that. It could work. That's a cra that's a crazy idea. Huh. Meanwhile, in lighter news, I am pumped to see Solo. Anybody else excited to see that movie? I am. Like that, Lando. The new Star Wars movie about young Han Solo. It's the first origin story for any individual character in the Star Wars canon, which is great, but come on, let's get to the good stuff. Where's the movie about Max Rebo and the Jizz Whalers? <laughs> Who are they? Where did they come from? Am I allowed to say their name on CBS? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out tonight, but now. <laughs> There's controversy about changing a beloved character's backstory because the writers of Solo have just confirmed that Lando Calrissian is pansexual. First of all, good for you, Lando. Okay? You do you, which I think is part of that whole thing. Second of all, second of all, come on. We all knew. The man wears a cape. It's a classic sign of intergalactic pansexuality. <laughs> Just look at David Bowie. <laughs> Alien in a cape, it's always a dead giveaway. That's how you know Superman is down for anything. <laughs> look up in the sky. It's a... Wait, don't look up in the sky, kids. <laughs> the co-writer of Solo says of Donald Glover's Lando, I love the fluidity sort of the spectrum of sexuality that Donald appeals to and that droids are part of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We all knew that. Droids are part of it. I mean, R2 has always had some pretty sexy scenes. <laughs> we... We... That's the foot. That's actual footage. That's actual footage. <laughs> Walt Disney, we await your lawsuits. <laughs> and I think it's about time that Star Wars had some proud and open LGBTQ characters. For Pete's sake, it's okay to watch a brother and a sister make out, but we can't watch two men kiss. Star Wars is a story of empowerment in the face of discrimination. Hey, we don't serve their kind here. <laughs> That, of course, was an early cameo by Mike Pence. <laughs> the... Yeah, he's good. He was good. The full spectrum of sexuality has always been there, but they just wouldn't come out and say it. We all know Chewbacca is a furry. And <laughs> Darth Vader is clearly part of the lifestyle. I mean, he dresses like a dominatrix. Remember the safe word is Pumpkin Patch. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight. Zachary Quinto is here for When We Return. People are getting high on cheese. Stick